In this video we're going to take a look at the classic yet complicated challenge on Hack the Box. It's an easy crypto challenge and the description says find the plain text, the key is your flag. And it tells us then that the format of the flag is Hack the Box with the key in lowercase. So let's download the files. See what we've got. We've got a ciphertext text file. So take a local copy of it and let's go and have a look at it. We'll just print the file out first and we can see that we get some text here. It's still in uh, English alphabet and ASCII range anyway and we have numbers here combined with letters which might be worth bearing in mind. Uh, the challenge description told us there was a key so it's it's um, unlike, although from looking at that it could easily be something uh, a rotation or a substitution problem. It suggested that there was a key, so I'm assuming it might be more like an XOR problem or something. It's been over three years since I solved this, so um, let's take a copy of the text and we'll take it over to CyberChef and see what we can do with it. So the first thing you might want to do here on any of these crypto challenges is just uh, run magic in CyberChef just so you can get an easy win with anything. But this isn't going to include a lot of things. We can also, if we know that the phrase or the ciphertext is going to contain like the word flag or HTB or something like that, we could also put that in there as a crib. You can see the parameters here. If we highlight magic, it takes the depth as well. So um, the number of levels will depend on the, the the level of recursion, the number depends, will determine, should I say, the level of recursion, uh, intensive mode, so uh, different things will be brute forced, including XOR. Let's actually enable intensive mode to see if we get anything, because, no, nah, we don't get anything. Uh, let's take out that crib just in case that was causing issues, because um, internal error in blob. Okay, let's see this now. You see now, it's because we've done intensive mode, it's trying to do some XOR operations and stuff as well. If we scroll through this, do we get anything? No? Okay. Um, yeah, always worth trying anyway. So, in terms of these uh, recipes here, we can build things up as well. So, it might be a case of, we might have a, like a ROT13 that we have to do first, or a different... Uh, number of rotations and then follow that with for example uh, XOR so you grab the XOR and um, you can put any number of operations in here obviously the order they're in will be important as well let's turn off the ROT13 we can uh, set breakpoint disable operation, we want to disable the operation and we have the XOR now the challenge description said about a key, so I've got a feeling that it's probably going to be an XOR problem. If we put in a value here, it's going to basically it's going to XOR it, so we could be guessing things here. But you'll see here we also have an XOR brute force. It says current maximum key length is two due to browser performance. So let's remove the XOR and let's do XOR brute force. And then you can see we can scroll through the different keys and just have a look at the text and see do we have anything which looks like it might have a flag in it. Again, we can say that uh, we're looking for flag as well or something in there. Let's try key length 2. See if, we're, if it's able to load this for us. It might be too much. might take a little while. Yeah, so you can imagine how, how long it would take if the key length was at 3. Okay. I don't know how long that's 
going to take let's go over to decode.fr as well we have the Caesar cipher here we can do this to test all and we can go through and I think with the rotation we only did rot 13 as well but because it's saying that the key is a flag it's not likely to be a rotation cipher unless there's just a rotation first but it doesn't look like there is okay so let's see let's have a look at the full tools list here you can see a full list of crypto tools we did the substitution cipher in the last example we have various transposition ciphers substitution ciphers there's a lot there's a lot here actually a lot more than we have available to us in cyberchef all right well cyberchef is um taking too long to do this brute force let's try something else let's clear this recipe so we can go through here what we could do is look for the ciphers and we can go through each one and see which ones take a key this one doesn't just clear the recipe there this just converts letters to numbers and vice versa the bacon cipher doesn't take a key the B bifid cipher does take a keyword hack the box so this is a possibility the bifid cipher we have affine cipher doesn't take a key um, Enigma is the rotators and stuff, isn't it? It'd be so it doesn't really have a specific key necessarily. Okay. We the substitute <coughs> cipher is what we'd used in our previous challenge, in the last challenge we solved. What about the veneer cipher? It's a method of encrypting alphabetic text by using a series of different Caesar ciphers based on the letters of a keyword. The keyword being a key. So this is like a, a series of Caesar ciphers being like the ROT13 style thing where this is a Caesar cipher which rotates the alphabet and 13 is obviously by 13 places but this veneer cipher would determine. So let's try and let's put in here like flag hack the box and you can see that's all starting to change it doesn't give us an option to brute force this here so let's see if we we can search for the cipher here and you'll see that we have a lot more options available to us than on um, the cyberchef so we'll take a copy of the text and paste it in and then we can try to use automatic decryption and you see it's essentially looked for uh, English language English language words, dictionary words in this text. It's tried to use dif different dictionary um, keys, keywords to um, produce this. So you can do, there's a couple of different techniques here. You have a common words dictionary attack for key where we could do hit decrypt and you can see there world although it didn't get the hello world because hello world is yeah these are all single words by looks but if we do let's see if we did it with no a plain text keyword say hello was hello in there okay this kind of got it you see it got hello hurled and it's got kind of the text um if we would have said century maybe it would have got it yeah if we said century it found that it was hello world uh, the common words dictionary attack didn't work there for some reason if we do cryptanalysis it's going to give us more probabilities I guess of which is which but it doesn't give us an actual alright but the automatic decryption gave us a a key anyway oh it really wants me to disable the ad blocker it gave me a key so if we were to submit this flag and pass that in obviously change it to lowercase 
we'll see that um, oh incorrect flag uh, hack the box HTB challenge already solved so that was a correct flag but it had already been solved okay and I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions any comments you can leave them down below thanks